All right, so uh, lately most of my uh, content on my channel has been more like educational stuff, you know, explanations or, uh, you know, kind of like little uh, exercises, you know, warming up with guitar and whatnot. But uh, I think every so often, I should talk about the gear I use or the gear I have. Um, most of the gear I use, you know, on a regular basis tends to be three or four guitars but uh i do have other guitars um i i, I am a bit of a you know uh i guess a collector but uh it's uh sometimes it's it's a really deep rabbit hole you know you can go down <clears throat> but uh here's a guitar that i've used a long time ago it's been a while since I've used it but um you know it's it's actually one of I think my better guitars that I do have um so this is I'm not sure you see in there but it's an Esteve guitar or a Steve guitar <clears throat> the model number is a 5F F stands for flamenco guitar so it's definitely a fast action fast playing uh, nylon string guitar and um, if you want to get uh, a Steve, I think you can, still can but it's not as readily available uh, because the person that used to import this guitar in the United States his name is uh, Ron Fernandez he uh, he retired he so he doesn't sell uh, Esteve, at least anymore. Um, but I did hear that there was some guy in Colorado that imports them now. I'm not sure. You can try to look that up. But uh, yeah, I actually have a couple of Esteve guitars, and uh, one of them was like my main my main axe when I was in uh, college. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this is a, a flamenco uh, version. So I'm not great at explaining stuff, but hey, you know, we're here to check out the gear. Um, so this video might be long because I'll give some demo examples and stuff. And I, I may have covered this guitar previously, but I think it's always good to come back to um, your gear and see if it's still in good condition. And, you know, talk more about it, you know. Um, yeah, so... If you ask me what I prefer, like a flamenco guitar or uh, you know, just a straight up classical guitar, which has higher action and stuff, um, I, I would say nowadays I probably prefer a flamenco guitar, um, just just for the ease of playability. Because when it comes to like actual like sound, um, if I'm recording, I could you know, improve the sound, you know, post-production and whatnot. But, um, I, I tend to find that the flamenco, most flamenco guitars out there, that they can do both classical and flamenco pretty well. Um, now if you're like, maybe in, in an ensemble setting, maybe a quartet, or even if you're lucky, um, uh, Concerto, maybe using a uh, classical guitar might be better, like because it has more like projection, um, you know, longer sustaining notes and that kind of stuff. Anyways, um, let's talk about this guitar. So it's an Esteve 5F. Uh, could be collectible. I'm not sure. <laughs> let's just kind of go over like, you know, what this guitar is made out of. So, like most uh, flamenco guitars, if not all, the front is uh, spruce. And what's kind of cool is the sides, oh, kind of see, it's it's flamey, right? Back, and it's more, it has some quiltiness. But, uh, man, look at that. Isn't that pretty awesome? I like that. And I got this guitar and 
in the local shop where I live. It's called Grayson's Toontown. And this is back in... How old is this guitar? Well, this guitar is technically from... Set up by Ron Fernandez in 2006. But I believe I bought it in 2007. So it's old. It's it's 2020 right now. So I think it's like four, 14 years? Yeah. Yeah, about 14, 14 years. So... I mean, the last time I used the guitar was probably ugh, three years ago. <laughs> I mean, I was feeling the strings and it felt kind of sticky for some reason. But I've been playing it and it's not sticky anymore. The strings are definitely old. Yeah. So, sides, back. Typically, they uh, for flamenco guitars, they use cypress wood. But this is not as expensive as like those, so this is made of sycamore. But I mean, still sounds great. You'll find out. Um, the fretboard is rosewood. I believe the back is either mahogany. It looks like mahogany. Could be cedar, but I think it's mahogany. I did change out the. The tuners, though, you know, usually the Steve, one part they really cheap out on are the tuners. They're kind of like import uh, from China. Like, not the China, not necessarily the Chinese stuff is bad, but it's not, you know, especially for like a classic guitar. Because, you know, this guitar is made in, in Spain. It's a Spanish made guitar. Um, you know, that you use something like a European style or a Spanish, you know, brand or something for the tuners, but now they use some Chinese knockoffs. But I changed this to uh, shallower uh, classical tuners, which are very, very nice and not super expensive, which is great. So yeah, and when you know when when it comes to uh, flamenco guitars, I mean the action looks pretty high for if you're an electric player, but this is pretty low for uh, for steel uh, for nylon string, and like the response and the initial like attacks are like much more like you know quicker. Doesn't have as much like overtone as like a classical guitar, but it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna play about three different things. Because it's a flamenco guitar, let's let's try out something flamenco-y. And then I'll try out something that's more classical oriented. And then we'll try out something because it's an acoustic guitar, kind of like hum and strum type of stuff. Okay. So first thing I'll play is a little bit of a thing called solea. this up but it's it's a loud guitar and in, in the room it's it's pretty loud and I believe I paid uh, $600 for this uh, back in the day um, I, I believe this kind of guitar right now would be more like 800 bucks probably but um it's it's I think it's worth it um, okay so let me try something more classical and if you've been watching any videos um i'm big on karakasi so here is a 
Let's see, I'll play Karakasi 4. Get some uh, uh, legato exercises in. <laughs> classical stuff pretty well um, and finally we'll do some uh, humming strum and uh, if you watch other videos on my channel I would like to do a lot of praise and worship stuff so yeah we'll do a uh, he knows my name guitar for many styles um, definitely easy to play although <laughs> one thing about this guitar compared to uh, other uh, nylon strings there's a lot of nylon strings that tend to have like a very thin uh, neck profile not all but you know for the most part it's a very kind of flat t-shaped profile now this profile is a d-shape Look how thick oh, that neck is. It's beyond baseball bat. I mean, I would imagine this is like more baseball bat than like classic like Fender guitars, you know, like Telecasters. They're known for their baseball bat, you know, next. Yeah, this is beyond that. <laughs> so, you know, with these type of like downs from guitars, done, they're not necessarily made for like be played any which way. With the way they're set up, you have to kind of approach it a certain way where like, you know, you don't want the thumb like choking the neck. You're just not going to be able to play. And I got short stubby fingers, you know, look at those short stubby fingers. The only way for me to play properly is to utilize those quote unquote pop, pop, proper techniques. They do work because they kind of take in mind you know the, the human body you know the hands right so yeah this guitar although it's nice and flat it is pretty chunky i've gotten used to it over the years but um yeah i'm definitely never gonna sell this guitar because this is my first uh, flamenco guitar and i really should probably bust this out more often yeah first condition wise it is pretty good uh, I don't know if you can catch in the light or not. Maybe. No, it's YouTube, so they probably can't. But there's a lot of swirl, swirl marks from, a, you know, I've had like a lot of button shirts and stuff, so it kind of probably cause that swirl, swirling kind of effect. Um, there are some like, some dents. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. There we go. You can kind of tell, you know, those little dents that you see typically in a 
pretty well played acoustic guitar, right? Nothing major. It's literally broken in, so I think that's what makes it sound good. Um, I have been taking care of this guitar as far as like humidity and stuff is concerned, so I don't I don't see any telltale signs of uh, dehumidification on this guitar. Um, so yeah, if you have a chance, try try to try to look up online, you know, for a Steve guitars. Um, see if uh, they are still available, because I'd say they're worth it.